Thomas and I am with John Gibson and John is executive chef at the Beachcomber at Crystal Cove and John just does a great job with all kinds of wonderful comfort food and you're going to be making something from your roots today. We're going to start off with what's called pone bread. It's something my mom used to make, you know, for Sundays after we come back from church, she would fire up a little pone bread with some fried chicken. And it's a, it's a really simple recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually dates back to the cellar days, the pilgrims and everything else. It's a Native American dish, real simple, not a lot to it. As long as you have bacon, you're good to go. You know, and I always have bacon. So how do we start? Well, first of all, we rented out some bacon real quick. And then we add just a little bit of butter to supplement the bacon grease. And so you're going to put together a cornmeal mixture? Just a real light cornmeal mixture. You can use white or yellow. Today we're right. using yellow. And then we add a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, a little cracked black pepper, and a little bit of salt. And then what you want to do is just make a little well in the center. Okay. You want to add one egg. And then about two third cups of buttermilk. What you want to do, you want to add about half of it. Right. And you mix it up just where you've got a kind of a lumpy cornmeal mixture. Right. Try not to overmix it too much. And what you do is you work from the center out to get everything incorporated. All right. So at this point, it's almost like gritty pancake batter. It is. And now that you see, our pan is hot and ready to go. Right. Don't want it too hot because you don't want to burn the bacon fat or the butter in yeah. it. Yeah. So what you do is you just take a scoop. Like so. And you drop it right down in the middle. Probably about one and a half big tablespoons. Ah, yeah. So it's like it. pancakes. It's just like pancakes. Yeah. What you want to do though, you want to press down in the middle so everything cooks evenly. So you want to check one. Oh, they're beautiful. But you'll see, you'll see the caramelization on the top. Right. While they're still hot, just hit them with a little bit of salt. Okay, so John, you've got this gorgeous fish and you're going to season it up. Yeah, we're going to season up just really light. So you just want a little bit of salt, of course, Old Bay seasoning, and then a little bit of cracked black pepper. And over here we've got a skillet that's heating up with the uh, bacon renderings in right. there. This is half of the bacon renderings. We use some for the palm bread. We're going to use some for the fish. Don't right. want it too hot. You can see it start to smoke. All right. And then what you want to do is just always place the fish away from you, like so. Season side down. And what we'll do, we'll let this cook for probably about three to five minutes. We'll get a nice little caramelization on it, and then we'll flip them over. Wonderful, and I know you're going to use some coleslaw in this dish. This is the jicama slaw. Right. We made this a little earlier. So now we're going to check our fish. Using those asbestos fingers of yours, You chef. get used to it after a while. Yeah. Just like that nice caramelization on it. We'll take the palm bread that we did earlier, put it right in the center of the plate, and you want to put a little bit of hickama slaw and the carrots and everything. Oh, that's so colorful. And the bacon that we used earlier. Ah, a little bit of bacon. A little bit of bacon for the slaw. Okay. Okay, chef, the fish looks fab. Looks great. We're looking about a medium, probably about a medium right now, so it's right. time to come out. So to finish the plating, you want to take the whole fish and just put it right down in the center of this palm bread and slaw. Oh, that looks just gorgeous. And so this is a dish that you make at home. This is one I do make at home. It's really light, it's really fresh, it's really easy to do. And then what you want to do, you just want to garnish it up, put just a couple of pieces of cilantro on it, and then you take the other piece of palm bread. Ah. If you're going to share with somebody, and you just leave it. Oh, that's it. fabulous. It is so good. Well, I want to thank you so much for sharing your dish from your home oh, kitchen. Anytime, anytime at all. Thank you so much. Thank you.